Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting to a white guy talking about his first black cookout and this is on World Star Hip Hop. I don't I don't know if World Star is still around, but there was a there was a chunk of time where this website had us and uh we were it was like before Vine and t it was like all the good terrible things <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say about it. All right, I'm gonna start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends, okay? Okay. Most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving to death. Okay. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of like, passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. No way in H-E double hockey sticks. You are passing around a cop because he's going slow. Anyway, about a week ago, get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookouts. So I show up to the cookout. All right. As I step out of my pick em up truck. Pick em up truck. I realize that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, and me. All right. Okay. As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa, and his great grandma and grandpa, and his 47 cousins. Mm -hmm. All right. Which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway, there's a long table. Where the food's, where the food, everybody's eating at, okay? They bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. Well, what do you mean you don't know what's going to happen? You're at a table, sir. You're going, you're going to eat and you're going to eat good, not good, good with a T on the end. You're going to eat real good. Say the blessing and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. <laughs> now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches rounded off like this with barbecue. Okay? And I'm going to eat it. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat it. So as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at, these two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties. With two different potato salads. Ooh wee. All right. Ooh they say we want to get your your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, apparently, just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Well, I ain't finna piss nobody off at this cookout. Okay. So I <laughs> ate both of them, and I told them that they were just so damn good. Both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. Now, at this current time, I am almost in a food coma because I've ate so much. <laughs> I don't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. And then his great grandmama, Mama T, that's what they call her. She comes up to me with what looks like a five pound piece of cherry pie. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats. The All meat right? sweats. I love potato salad. It's probably my favorite potato salad and collard greens. Potato salad, collard greens. Ooh, black eyed peas, maybe. Some type of bean. And a deviled egg on the side. Baby, I don't need a protein. I really don't. I really don't need one. Those are my favorite soul food sides. Ooh, potato salad. My grandmother's potato salad is the best. I'm not a sweets girl. I'm, I'm not a sweets, like pastry pie cakes. Um, I don't think I've ever even had cherry pie. Uh... But some sides, some good solid sides, yes. Back barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness, and she wants, she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie. Now, I saw Friday after next. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day Day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have, you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. I'm white, not stupid. So as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't finna piss off nobody, especially the head woman there because she ranked up top. That's great grandma. You don't mess with her. I finish this pie and I drift off into a 
Caucasian Caucasus of a Caucasian Caucasus. I did just like this right here, just like this. I went, whew, I'm full. As soon as I tipped my head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for, but somehow I have. I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high stakes spades game at an all black cookout beside me. What the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? <laughs> that table is three different things at a barbecue. You eat at it, you play spades, whatever other game you you play, and it's a prayer table. If you need prayer, you're gonna come sit down, you're gonna get these hands uh, dealt to you, and you're gonna get some prayer. So it's a multi-hyphenated table, sir. <laughs> and now the cards is in front of me, and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. I got no idea. I All love right, spades. I'm white. We played go fish and cornhole. <laughs> All we did, we got bored one day, literally did the whitest thing possible, walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk. All right. Put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we toss it at each other. That's what we do. I have no idea what spades is. So as they give me the runaround idea what the hell is going on with this spades game, I realize, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, probably. they said, Zach, how many books, how many you, books got? you got? They said, just explain this to me now. I'm talking about just now. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently, that is the wrong damn answer eight for your books. first hand of spades ever. Because as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock nines hit the top Man, of the table. Like, what? Eight books? I've got every damn spade you could possibly have you and cheated. three other aces. <laughs> well, as I survived that. The first, the first bid is always blind. You should bid blind. So no one should be calling out any books. So they, did, they set him up on that one. That round. I go to get up, and one of his cousins come over and taps me on the shoulder. Say, hey, buddy, you want to go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I, don't know I ain't that got is. a shitting clue what they're talking about. But I ain't going to piss nobody off. You got to understand, at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me. Okay? Now, I did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning more toward dominoes, I either. which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. But apparently, <laughs> bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast, my fucking head was spinning. <laughs> okay? And apparently when... I don't come a from a family of dice or, or it's kind of dominoes. Like, my grandmother knows how to play dominoes, but we don't... It's not like a big game. So I didn't know that either. I learned He learned me something new today. He said I lost $36 so fast. <laughs> $36 so fast my fucking head was spinning okay <laughs> and apparently when they yell gator that just code word for the white man loses because they just took my money and I just put some more down until I ran out of money which is fine made it through that one too now as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck I went over to thank mama T you know I think I thank my buddy I thank everybody on the way to my truck and I've got my truck in my sight be lying I am be lying in on truck. my truck trying to leave this place <laughs> Now, I get to my truck. I put my hand on my truck to go open it, and there's a, like a sense of relief that comes over me. Like, I didn't piss nobody off. Nothing went wrong. I went, whew, I made it. You didn't get it to go now, play? as I open my door, Nothing? I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. The whole damn cookout is behind me. Everybody there is right around my truck. With Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me, he said, Hey buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday, you coming back? And I looked at him. <gasps> bamboozled on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, You damn right I'm coming <laughs> back. Because that's the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you ever been to All Black Cookout, but I'm gonna tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit. Because that is the best food you ever going to get and the <laughs> nicest damn people. I was scared shitless. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. But at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. I'm going back next week. Bet. I told him, I said, y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to some cook. Some ice? Y'all want some ice? Or like, or like some, uh, you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit and bring him? You know, so he'll, he'll feel at home. He got white beaters and stuff. <laughs> Yo, what y'all need? 
They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me and I. Uh huh. Which I will be there. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. <laughs> she. That was hilarious. It was hilarious. It was so accurate. Um, you don't you don't bring anyone that wasn't invited to the cookout though. You just don't do that. But you should feel very very honored to be invited to the cookout. The cookout is a sacred sacred event. Honest to God. Like I don't know if you know this. I am of the melanated persuasion. And like when I when I get invited to like when I'm like, oh, it's a cookout situation. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like there's there's so much love. There's so much laughter, the music, the food. And it goes all night long. Like the last cookout I went to was last summer. It was in Atlanta, actually. And I mean, all night long fireworks at the end. Like it is a full blown event and the food is nonstop. It's delicious. The drinks are flowing. It is all those things. And what he described is what you get. And I think he's clearly a Southern man. So a Southern cookout is a little bit different from a Northern cookout. Uh, Cause Southerners go big. All right. Um, but yeah, I agree with him. And now I want to go to a cookout. Now I need to find a cookout to go to. So go have the day you deserve. Peace.